Hello, YouTubers. This is Sky is Falling Now. Hope you enjoy this little presentation. It's my first uh, YouTube video, so bear with me. I, uh, the technology is not all that great. I understand it's real blurry here, but I've been a big follower of this LNN story for you know for as long as it's been out there. I've seen all the videos. I'm sure all of you have seen the whole track here on um, on the comet. And what I have here up in front of you is uh, Comet Levy. It's another uh, recent comet that was discovered. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare the flight path of Levy compared to Elenin. But before I launch into that, I just want to talk a little bit about comets first. I mean, mainstream media will tell you and it will say that most comets are what's called dirty snowballs. And uh, that's a mixture of ice and snow. As the comet gets closer to the sun, uh, the ice and snow starts to melt, creates a coma tail in addition to some ion um, uh, connection between the uh, comet and the sun. There's a fellow by the name of uh, Jim McCanny who's got uh, Jim McCanny Science uh, website. You can Google him, Jim McCanny. He believes uh, comets are nothing more than uh, um, uh, big uh, or big or small objects that come into the earth and they have a, an electrical reaction with the sun and that's what creates the coma. Uh, most comets, uh, most great comets over time have, uh, if you go back and do a Google search and Google great comets, there's been 20 or so that are referred to as great comets. And most of these great comets have had what is called a, uh, you know, its orbit, orbital path has been perpendicular to the orbit of our, uh, our you know, the orbiting planets around the sun. And there's this term called inclination, and inclination is the angle at which I believe the uh, the the comet is relative to the sun and the Earth. And anything closer to zero, uh, if it, uh, inclination of zero would mean that the comet has the exact same um, elliptical uh, 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 inclination as Earth. And up to and any you know, up to 90 degrees, it would be perfect, perfectly perpendicular. Well, it turns out that many of these great comets have either come up from the bottom of our solar system or the top of our solar system and have had very high inclinations, which uh, has created the, you know, the appearance of the comets look so very bright in the nighttime sky because they're so high up relative to the positioning of how we are to the sun. The difference here, though, Elenin is one of the first comets in a very long time. In fact, I couldn't find one that had such a low inclination. Elenin is coming in at a very low orbital, or low angle, low path. And what I have here is I have Elenin here. What I've done is I've lined up Elenin. You see this yellow line here. I have Comet Elenin, and then I'm going to go back and forth between Elenin and, and Comet Levy. But if you can go to the website here, and what you'll find, uh, this is the uh, 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 JPL website. they got a model built in. You can track these comets on your own if you like. It's uh, the, the uh, website address is just plain SSD, samsamdelta.jpl.nasa.gov. Do a little search for Elenin. You'll ultimately end up here with this model. It's a very manipulatable model. You can look it up and down. You can zoom it. Uh, there's all kinds of things. You can go back in time, forward in time. And what I have here for you is, is Elenin on September 27th. We're all waiting for this September 27th time frame. That is when uh, you know, Elenin is going to line up between Earth and the Sun. And you can see the path here. The dark blue line means it's underneath, and the light blue line is it's above the ecliptic. So that's dark blue is below, dark meaning below, light is above. So I can manipulate the graph like this, and you can see that you can barely see the flight path of this thing because it is coming in at such a low angle relative to the sun. So it might not even have a tail because According to Jim McCanny, the reason why our planets don't have observable tails is because we are on the ecliptic. So we don't affect the sun the way that other comets will. Comets that come in at 90 degrees typically could theoretically have a much, uh, um, you know, could affect the sun differently, uh, creating a much bigger coma. So this is Comet Elenin. As you can see, Elenin's coming in on... Uh, on this flight path, and what I've done, like I said, is I've created the uh, illusion here. Here comes here comes Elenin, 
it's coming in and uh, as, it, as it goes by Earth. Here's this other comet that was discovered recently and the name of this comet is Comet Elenin. It's an inner solar system comet and uh, well guess what? It also has a relatively low angle of inclination of 18 degrees which isn't zero but it definitely is lower than most other comets so it's going to come in low relative to the ecliptic. It's going to be closer to the ecliptic. But here's the most interesting part about uh, Levy. Here's this date here, September 27, 2011. Here is where Elenin or Levy's going to be on that date. Here's Earth, here's the Sun, here's Elenin. El or, or I'm sorry, here's Levy. So Levy's going to be in the sky at the same time as Comet Elenin. So I'll flip back over to Elenin, same date, well, by a little difference by two dates. Here's September 27th. As you can see, here's Elenin as it's lined up with the sun. I can't overlay these two charts, but if I could, our other comet here would be Levy. It would be right here, okay? And so you got Elenin coming into the solar system at the same time um, um, that, uh, well, actually, Elenin is leaving the solar system at the same time as uh, our other friend, Levy, is entering the solar system. So a couple other facts here that I find interesting is one is both these comets are coming in around the exact same time. It's very likely that we will could see both of these in the in the sky at the same time, maybe the nighttime sky or I'm sorry, the daytime sky. So if these are big comets, then it's conceivable we might see three suns in between September and December. But looking at Levy, I want to also point out the future path of Levy here. We all know the path of Elenin. I don't need to go through the whole Elenin thing. It's on there. Tons of videos have been done about it. But if you look at the path here of, of Comet Levy, here's the Comet Levy as it comes in. gets very close to Earth. <laughs> 0.5. I think it the closest is point, about 0.5. 4.050401 AU. And the thing is, if you blow this up, here's the really scary part about this comet. And believe me, this, this might be an afterthought after what Ellen and might do to our planet. So um, look how close these are. Remember I said earlier, the light blue not line and the dark blue line. The dark blue line is the, when it's below the ecliptic. The light blue not line is when it's above the ecliptic. It happens, here are the two dots. Here's comet P2006 T1 Levy. Here's Earth. And as this comet comes down from the top of the solar system, it's gonna enter our ecliptic at the exact same time that it, that it, 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 it gets very close to Earth. So not only is it going through the ecliptic, but it's also going through the ecliptic at the same time that our planet happens to be 0 0.0473 AUs away from it. So anyway, you can go out and Google all this stuff. Comet P2006 Levy, as well as Comet Elenin. And what you'll find is the same information that I just presented to you. But I hope you enjoyed it. I'll, uh, you know, again, I'll post it up here. I apologize for the blurriness, but it's the best I can do with my understanding of technology at this point. Hopefully, I'll be able to get better at these videos and, and post some, some more uh, killer stuff for you all later. Anyway, have a great day, and uh, uh, this is Skies Falling Out. See you.